Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this UE4 lettering using only one texture with a RGB mask. And I'm also going to show you how to create this texture. And we're gonna use it paint to make it. So let's get right into it. Okay, as you already know, I'm a fan of free uh, software. That's why I'm using Unreal Engine. And that's why I'm using paint. Uh, instead of Photoshop. Well, another reason is that I don't know how to use Photoshop. I was trying to learn it for many years and I just couldn't manage. And I am and I found this little program that is, uh, you can find it on uh, getpaint.net. I will link, uh, link it in the description. And it is as easy to use as paint that we all know but it is almost as advanced as uh, Photoshop. So for the purpose I'm using it, I'm not a graphic designer, I, I don't do graphic art, but sometimes I need to tweak some textures, put m many textures in uh, RGB channels, and this, this program is, uh, maybe it's not perfect for it, but it's, uh, it's is able to do it and it's free and that's the that's the main reason I'm showing it um, to you. So um, let's just begin. So first of all let's create our new texture. Let's it's going to be uh, 512 times 512 and here there is a layer um, window. We can uh, open it and close it here. So let's add another layers. We need... God damn it! Sorry guys. I was a postman. Okay, um, so we have five layers. Uh, it's a bit even, even too much. We need three and the background. Okay, so let's uh, select on this uh, tool. We can also turn it on and off here. Let's select uh, T, which is for, for texture, and just type U. Why well, it's, it should be, by default, it should be black. So let's make it black. Let's type U, but not on this texture. Let's type it on the first texture here, U. Big one. Uh, here, let's type E. And here, let's type and here let's type exclamation point okay let's uh, if we press ctrl a we select everything and there are two ways of selecting we, you can select to change something or you can select this way you change only the selection not the actual image so let's uh, move to changing actual image and let's set it up as you on the middle, uh, let's select another layer with E and another layer with 4. So yeah, more or less, let's select all of them and put them in, in, the, in the middle. Okay, that's wrong, but that's, it's going to be okay. Uh, here's the bucket, like in paint, and uh, primary is black secondary is white so I can either change uh, order or uh, if I press left mouse button it's going to paint it to black but if I press um, right mouse button it's going to paint it to white. It's also painted the exclamation point because the tolerance is high but if I so change the tolerance to 60% it is cool. Okay it's not in the middle but for our purpose uh, it's going to work. So. Uh, we can we can uh, stop seeing uh, we can disable the layers uh, and leave only the first one and now we need to change colors to red this black has to be red so let's move to levels and reset it and I'm going to leave these are RGB channels I'm going to only leave the red channel and I need to change I never remember which one. Guess this one. Yes, I need to change the output, uh, the black output to minimum, so this is red. Okay, here I go. Another layer, the same, but with uh, different 
uh, G this time, which is green, this time up to 50, 55. And this one going to be B. So again, B. Okay, but it's not working yet. We need to change the blending between layers. So uh, here is the blending. We need to uh, select properties and blending mode is here. It's normal. Let's change it to additive. Okay. Okay. And again, um, what we need to do here is we need to flip it because if we add white to everything, it's going to be white uh, because white is one. So we need to invert colors, Ah, but not on this layer. We have to remember to be in the proper layer. Okay, great. And now, because we have another fourth layer, which is uh, alpha channel, we just need to select this and this. I'm selecting it with control and with, uh, where is it? Yeah, I forgot. Uh, with this uh, magic wand, it works like in every other software and I'm just deleting it. So we can use RGB and alpha channel, but alpha channel have to be in different area other than RGB channels. That's why it looks like it does. Okay, I'm saving it and we have to save it. Um, we have to save it either as PNG or TGA uh, because JPEG doesn't have alpha channel. So let's select uh, PGA. We can um we can select as this uh, as this file okay yes i want to change it it has its my, my language option so it's this program has my polish language option so probably it has yours if you're not english native speaker uh oh yeah one more thing we can if we if we save it as png in uh, it asks us to flatten the layers so we do that and now we don't have any more access to the layers, but we can uh, control Z. So undo this uh, move and save us PDN file, which is project file of this program. And if we do that and we close it and we again open it, we have here PNG file, which is only texture. But here we have PDN file, which is full uh, project that uh, we can go back and, and fix some things. Okay, so let's just import this, this texture, PGN, right here. Okay, one more thing we need to, we need to uh, change here is because it has some artifacts when the colors are colliding because of the compression. So we need to change the default compression to user interface. Yeah. This one, would, as you can see, there's no more artifacts uh, at the connection between um, channels. Okay, so let's create a material out of it. So and we now need to create because we want to create one material and many material instances that uh, let us choose uh, different textures i am using i'm gonna use lerp node to it to lerp between materials because lerp node is um, i'm not using bool so switch because switch node doesn't work uh, in uh, material instances because it needs to recompile the shader if I change the bool. Lerp doesn't need to do that. So um, I'm just lerping between R and G, but also I am lerping between G and B. And also I am lerping between B and A. And that's how it should work. So we need to change uh, many uh, many LERPs 
uh, to select proper uh, proper texture, but for our purpose uh, it will work. So I'm uh, pressing one and left mouse button to create scalar parameter, convert to parameter. Uh, this one going to layer between R and G, so it's going to be red and G. Uh, here we go. Oh, I can also press S and left mouse button that will already create a parameter. And this is going to be between G and, boo and blue. And uh, the last one, uh, it's going to be between blue and alpha, which is B. A. Okay, and I'm going to change it to masked. Mm, here, opaque change to masked. And I'm going to plug it here. The color will be black, but if you want, you can um, plug any color for your writing, for your letters uh, in the base color. Compiling, applying, save. And I'm already creating material instance out of it. And let's just put a plane here. And we need to rotate it, but let's do that. Okay, I have my first letter here. Okay, I'm copying it, and I'm also I'm copying the uh, plane on the on the level with Alt. I I can already copy. Um, yeah, and I'm duplicating the um, material instance, and I'm putting it here, but. We need to change here. Uh, this one has to be one, right? Yes. So between R and G, so red and G, so our first uh, two textures, um, we need to lerp. So we have uh, E. And the last one, I'm going to duplicate again my material instance. I'm going to put it here. And this one going to be like this, great. I need another one to make an exclamation point. Yes, and copy another material instance and put it here. And this I'm going to change to... Oh, one more thing, I forgot. Because of our um, alpha is flipped, we need to flip it back. So there is a simple note one minus, which changes one to zero and zero to one. And let's plug it here, let's apply. Save. That's why I'm using LERP, because I don't want to do every time when I'm changing the textures. And again, um, alpha, as you can see, cannot be in the middle, so it is the center of the square is here and we need to we need to move it and also um, we can uh, oh, this is because our textures are exactly in the yeah um, so uh, our our RGB channels are um, can have values between 0 and 1 and alpha channel uh, in our case maybe it does but our setup with just opacity, opacity mask it is 0 1 so it is either op uh, opaque or it is masked so uh, and I'm doing saying this right you know what I mean it's either you can see through it or you not if you want to there is different type of uh, of uh, opacity which is translucent instead of mask and it has whole range between zero and one and it is much more uh, heavy um, performance wise okay guys uh, that was my simple uh, simple tutorial about how to manage R rgb channels in unreal and how to prepare them with the simple uh, paint net program uh, thanks for watching, I hope uh, this video helps you and subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions you can also join uh, my Discord channel, there's a happy bunch right there and um, if you have any questions or suggestions just let me know. Thanks for watching and see you next time.